guys, it's Lydia if you're new here. Hi, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some Valentine's Day outfit ideas. This is gonna be a dress focused outfit inspiration for Valentine's Day. I'm gonna be trying on a couple different styles to give you guys some inspiration for a date night, for a girls' night out, for whatever type of activity you guys are doing. These are gonna be some of my favorite dress stores. They're gonna be long, short, so hopefully this gives you some inspiration on some outfits you can put together for Valentine's Day since it is love season. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let's get right into it. I also do want to mention I'm going to be doing a bunch of different price ranges here so more affordable and a little on the pricier side just to cover all categories. We're starting out with this long red satin dress. This is from Cup She is a mid-length almost maxi satin dress and my favorite thing about this is when you think Valentine's Day this is what you're wearing. Once you invest in a piece like this this is really every holiday you can wear this to a formal event but i just think this is like the staple when i think valentine's day and this is a little different because this is one of those dresses that's gonna look good on anybody it's gonna flatter every single body type and one extra thing i do love about it that makes it a little different instead of it just flowing straight down it comes with this little string so you can cinch your waist in so it gives you more of a shape and it has a little slit on the side. I love this. Starting out, like, this is literally my favorite. Next, this is something similar. It has the same slit style, but it's more tight and it's fitting. I find I do not like going out for dinner in tight dresses. If you're going out for a drink or something fun, this is a great option. This is from Lovers and Friends. I also think this would be cute for, like, Easter. More of a tight fitting dress. It's a nice thick material. This is like giving a leather jacket and black heels. This is also very spring wedding. I think I was gonna wear this to one of my friend's weddings. I think I would like this a little bit more black. I wanted to include this style. We are mixing it up with this one. This is from Zara. This was, I think, $49 and it's the satin effect dress. Now, my original vision for this dress was cute date night in. Dinner date at home because it's giving that lingerie kind of style but it also could be one of those dresses that you wear out compared to the red dress from cup she i just had on i wish it had that little belt to like cinch you in to give you more shape this style dress could be super cute for a night and if you still want to be dressy and get out of your sweatpants but, like this is so cute i absolutely love the colors i know what you guys are thinking with this one how is green valentine's day hear me out the style is super casual but it's very feminine and girly. I think anything pastel would go really, sorry, I'm just tying the back of this. I think anything pastel would complement with the pink and red theme really nicely and be really feminine and cute. If you're like around pink flowers or pink decor style and this color dress will pop and be girly and fun. It's also very Eastery and spring. February is kind of getting into those months. At the back of this, I did not tie this well, but it's, it's a really cute bow and that's also just really feminine and girly and super cute for a date night especially if you don't want to be too formal but still dressed up cute this is from hecka i can't remember how much it costs this is another satin one from zara but it's a little more of a high neck i don't think you can go wrong with just an all black dress Especially with like a tiny bit of print, you could throw on a red bag. You could do so many things with accessories to dress this up. I was also thinking high boots with this would be really cute with a blazer or something. It's from Zara. I think it was like $50. I don't have anything from Opali. This would be the thing I'd say is closest to it. Their site has the cutest stuff that I would be wearing for Valentine's Day. I just haven't gone ahead and splurged yet. Something that has like a little bit of a cutout in the front. If this was red and sparkly, I would be absolutely obsessed with this. I just give the idea that maybe something a little more scandalous for Valentine's Day. This is very different than just like your classic black dress you'd wear every other dinner. Awesome, I just completely lied to you guys. I forgot I have this dress from there. I got this on a trip to Boston. I actually thrifted this for $4. Well, maybe it was 12. I got this for four or $12, one or the other. This is just a ruched dress. Just the one shoulder strap is super cute. A fun little pop of color in a really pastel girly shade, like an orange, a pink, a lavender. You can do really fun makeup and wear white heels with this, like a little creamsicle. I just am obsessed. Orange I also would put into the Valentine's Day color category. I freaking love this one. I am so obsessed with this. Oh, Polly, I'm telling you. Okay, now as much as I was just going on about saying mixing it up from the black dress, there's nothing wrong with wearing your favorite classic black dress. There's so much you can do with this. You can do so many different makeup looks, so many different accessories, as I mentioned earlier. Now, this one's from Maurizia, and genuinely, if I could only own 
I'm looking at all my dresses right now. If I could only own one of these, it would be this one. And it's because you can do so much with it. A cute pop of colors, black boots, red trench coat, something something fun and spicy with it. This is the Aritzia Satter mini dress. I want to say it's roughly $70, but it has this little tie here. And I love this because it's fitting in the back but it gives you that little extra something to like cover up and it's really comfortable and I'm not feeling self-conscious in it. I absolutely love this one. So if you're not loving the plain black dress kind of thing and you're like, give me a pop of color. I want to be bold. This is my one date night a year. I get to be extra. This is the option for you. This is a long red elegant gown. This is from Lovers and Friends off of Revolve. There's the slit on the end. It kind of flows out on the end. So it's not just a straight cut. It gives you some dimension down below. Going extra, wear that red bold lip. So beautiful. But if you're looking for something a little more casual, I've got the dress for you. Just an all white mini dress. And I know a lot of people go on vacations this time of year. Stop. My cat is attacking my fur dress right now. If you're tan, show it off, wear white, add that pop of color, do the red bold lip like I mentioned before. You can do so much with just a classic white dress. It can be really fun. This one is from Super Down and I love Super Down dresses because they're really nice quality. They're way more affordable than the other ones. It's looking like a luxury dress, you know what I mean? So as you guys just saw a glimpse, this black fur dress, it's something so different and like it, Valentine's Day is an excuse to dress up and be fancy and cute. I would also wear this in New York Fashion Week if I was invited. If anybody, you know, wants to invite me to New York Fashion Week. I would love an excuse to wear this dress. This is just a fun one and this is kind of a corset style so it cinches you in a little bit. So I just want to try on this red dress I wore in Vegas. I never even took the tag off but I still wore it. And it has sequins and I think a sequin style dress in like a burgundy color would be really fun. For Valentine's Day too with some like flowers or hearts or something like love romantic kind of vibes. It no longer fits me so. <laughs> okay and now my last dress is tied into a literal giant knot so I can't actually try this on for you guys. But I wanted to remind you that baby pink is a very cute fun color to wear as well. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this video helped you out. Let me know down in the comments below which outfit was your favorite and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Wednesday and Saturday and I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching. I just went shopping and I just got a bunch of cute Valentine's Day outfits and I'm gonna do a little try on haul for you guys. Pretty much every single thing I got in this bag is pink. So starting out, I got these white pants. They have pockets and I actually love the length they go down to because if you wore heels with it, it would be really cute still. I just think this is really cute for spring but I'm gonna try it on with one of the tops I got. I just thought this would be like a cute outfit. So next is this high neck top. I absolutely love these colors together. I think it's so cute. And then I also have these red boots that I think would look really cute with it. This color pink is just like my absolute favorite. And then if you wanna make it more casual with jeans. Next, I got this baby tee. I don't really like the material of this. It feels really cheap. Next, this is actually from Zara and these are American Eagle, but I got this black sweater with these cute little bows and I thought this would actually look really cute over top. I take it back. Maybe not over something pink. Maybe over like a white bodysuit. Okay, so the next thing I got is so crazy for me. I never wear stuff like this, but I got a hot pink blazer. I actually don't even think I own a blazer other than this one now. It's kind of fun. You can dress it down with jeans or you can do like black dress pants and make it more dressy, but I kind of wanted to try on a dress with this. I definitely think I like it better with the dress. You could wear high white boots. That would be really cute with this. Okay, I actually kind of love it. And that is everything I got. Comment down below your favorite outfit.